Prince and heads of state are expected to attend the memorial and funeral services of the late former Botswana president, Sir Kitumele Masire, this week. A memorial service will be held in the capital, Khabarone, tomorrow, followed by a state funeral at Kanye on Thursday. Sir Kitumile died last week at the age of 91. Now, for the latest on the arrangements, we cross now to Ntakwana Ngatane, who's in Khabarone. A very good morning to Ntakwana. What can you tell us? Good morning, Peter. Well, here in the capital, Khabarone, after three days of official mourning, where flags were flying at half-mast, it's back to business. But as you've said, tomorrow... Uh, former president, the late former president, Se Kitumile Kwet Masire, will lie in state uh, for the members of the public to see him one last time. On Wednesday will be the memorial service that will be attended, we understand, by leaders from the region. We understand okay. that former president Tabombeki has confirmed that he'll be attending the memorial service. We understand that probably the king of Lesotho, King Lizia III, will attend that memorial service and the funeral on Friday, or on Thursday rather. So these are the arrangements going ahead and uh, as we understand also, President Ian Khama met with the family one last time after the final preparations were made. So it's all systems go here in the capital. Habaroni, Peter. Uh, Ntakwana, give us a sense of uh, what people are feeling uh, generally. Generally, Peter, this is a man who is revered here in Botswana. He was the second president of this republic, but also he is the man also uh, apparently who made a change in the constitution such that presidents don't stay for more than two terms, that is more than 10 years in power. So following that, his uh, successor, President Mukhai, then t stayed for two terms, but uh, we understand also so that this incumbent president may do the same, Ian Khama, and that uh, is uh, as a result of the change that was proposed and effected by Masire while he was president here in Botswana. But also Botswana saying that he is the father of not only Botswana, but the father of Africa. We know that he has been instrumental messages of condolences and messages of uh, uh, respect coming from uh, throughout Africa, from from regions like the Democratic Republic of Congo where he mediated a peaceful solution there but also from pe the people of Lesotho where although after two years he had to come out as an eminent person there but he had been also considered to have played quite a crucial role in bringing together the people of Lesotho. So quite a revered man and Botswana all around the country we've been to Francis Town in the north where also during the three days of mourning Botswana there were saying this is one of the true founding fathers of this uh, country and this democracy in in the southern African region. Peter? Oh, thanks and that's where we're going to leave it. That was uh, Ntakwana there, our reporter in Khabarone, which looks quite chilly this morning ahead of the memorial service for uh, Se Kitumile Masire coming up a little bit later on. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back we'll catch you up with your business and